Well, welcome to Tea Time, and it's afternoon tea. That's right. Today, my guest is in the afternoon. So I'm going to share a little bit on Chris Baldwin and his amazing company of tea. This is my first, first tea company that is going to be on Tea Time. So I'm super, super excited about it. So I'm going to share a little bit on Chris, and then I'm going to get Chris to share the incredible reason and how it all began and why he has created this amazing tea company. So a little bit on Chris. Chris Baldwin is a VP of sales and marketing for Dot com vapor and entrepreneur building the digital ai company arcq as well as co-founder of the valhalla tea company he serves in he served in the u.s army reserves from 2006 to 2016 as a non-commissioned officer under the military police corps at various locations as well as operations enduring freedom in Afghanistan. After attending college for design, he went on to pursue building his own agency, which ultimately failed out and gave him the insight to keep pressing on to where he is now. And that is how the Valhalla Tea Company started, I believe. Right, Chris? Uh, well, it's definitely part of the, the reasoning. I couldn't have started it without all that experience, uh, most definitely. So it's a... Uh, yeah, it was just a, a kind of a mixture. My whole life I've been trying to figure out how to bridge my military service with the entrepreneur business world. And uh, this opportunity had presented itself in January. And then uh, we've just kind of picked it up and, and started running with it. So it only started in January? Yeah, we're relatively, we're new right now. We're fastly growing, but we just started uh, literally this year, January. Um, we through through the work that we do here, my business partner, uh, Travis McDonald, he runs the dot com companies down here in, in Vancouver, Washington, so here in the States. And uh, we wanted to diversify outside of what we normally do, which is e-liquids. And so loose leaf tea had come up and it was just kind of a merging of several different events all at once. I was having a lot of health issues over the last few years. And uh, I had kind of started replacing alcohol or, or my, I was drinking a lot. And, and so I started replacing that with tea just because of all of the added benefits uh, with my blood pressure and everything. And so January when this rolled around and we had this opportunity all of a sudden, uh, we jumped on it in a heartbeat just to diversify and have, an, I have a company that isn't as heavily regulated by the FDA as e-liquid is. Okay. See, and there's always a backstory on why we do what we do, right? And usually it's the pain that brings us to our purpose. And do you feel that that has been the backstory of how Valhalla has started? Um, I mean, definitely there's, I would say pain is part of it right there. Uh, pain in my physical health uh, kind of led me to this path. Pain in my experience as a soldier coming outside of the environment that is the U.S. military and finding how difficult it is. Not not only it was for me to reintegrate back into society, but how difficult it is for a lot of our veterans right now uh, to reintegrate back into society. And, you know, one of the biggest I mean, we've been at war for two decades right now. You know, that's a long time right there. I was uh I was just a little kid during uh, September 11th and my generation has kind of grown up in these wars here. You know, it's not just America, obviously Canada has been a part of it. There's, you know, uh, Great Britain. I mean, it's just something that has very much been there in front of all of us for a long time. And there's millions and millions of people that have been directly affected by it and have a difficult time when you come outside of that that military you know, the military industrial complex into the civilian world where it's a little bit more dog eat dog. There's no, there's not a whole lot of guidance in the civilian world. You know, it's kind of up to you to figure stuff out at that point. Um, and I've seen time and time again, soldiers uh, not be able to effectively reassimilate back into that environment, you know? So that was the huge emotional, uh, barrier that we brought to the Valhalla Tea Company here and that, you know, we want to create a company that is uh, centered around a healthy lifestyle 
but also can in some way or shape or form give back to the veteran community specifically as it relates to veteran reintegration. And I, and with your tea, I believe that every bag that is sold, you donate a dollar, right, to help the veterans? Yeah, so every bag that we sell online, um, we donate a dollar to veteran service organizations or nonprofit organizations, 501c3s out there that specifically gear in one of our four core pillars that we wanted to focus on. Um, I knew when we started this company, I, my specialty is not obviously in psychology by any means, you know, if it was, I'd been a psychologist. Um, it's not my strength, but there are organizations out there that do specialize specifically when it comes to that reintegration process. And it's such a vast uh, issue right now. There's no one organization out there that you leave the military and all of a sudden you can, you know, join this organization and they'll get you back up on your feet and everything. Um, because it's a very complex issue. So we broke it down into four key areas. We call them our four key pillars that, that specialize in veteran reintegration. And that's uh, homelessness and addiction, uh, community, job placement, and mental health. And so we wanted to partner with four organizations that that, that one pillar was their specialty. And so as we've started right now, we've partnered with, to this point, we partnered with two of them. One of them is the uh, DV Farm, and that is a farm up in New Hampshire that specializes in dealing with homeless and addicted veterans, bringing them off the streets, getting them back uh, up on their feet, you know, getting them back kind of their driver's license, things like that, that they can really start putting these, these core components in life that maybe they've just lost through, you know, whatever decisions they've made post-military service. And they're doing amazing work up there. So we, we're proud to partner with DV Farm. And then uh, our second one right now is the Best Defense Foundation that was created by Donnie Edwards, uh, an NFL football player. He, he made it the Best Defense Foundation to specifically address like building a community around veterans as well as, you know, special programs in place for uh, special, force, special forces after they leave the military. Um, and he's, they, they've been a, a joy to work with as well. Um, we're waiting on, they're, they're waiting on us getting the packages actually in before we start really pushing them. Um, so up to this point, we've been making, we've been mainly working with DV farm and everything on it, but you know, we have, it felt, I mean, it felt good. I haven't donated personally, you know, I'm not, I'm not an angel by any means. Okay? <laughs> I don't I think any of us are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't donated. I, I can't remember a significant donation I've ever made to anything um monetarily you know and, and so it actually meant a lot last month when we did our first donation to the dv farm and uh you know that was the first significant donation i've been a part of that i've been able to give back now and and really you know and it's nothing big to this point because we are starting up and everything but it is growing and and we're selling more and more tea every day um and it's just something that you know i look forward in the next three years, I'd, I'd love to be in a position where, you know, not only are we delivering this amazing premium loose leaf tea uh, with all the added health benefits and, and, and attaching that to a healthy lifestyle, like we're starting to push, but at the same time, um, being able to fund these specific nonprofit organizations to help them on a different level, you know, when it comes specifically to helping our, our veterans kind of come outside of the military and back into the workforce and everything. Well, I think the reason that I, I reached out to you when I, when I seen your bags, it was the design of your bags that are on. You're so empowering. I love the, the new one you have for, for, um, I think it's Athena, the yep. Zeus bag, the lavender tea. Yes. I, I was hoping that I would have seen that one before I made my order, but I will make more orders. I have three, I have ordered three so far. So, and it was honestly, it's the packaging that grabbed my attention. It was like, Oh my goodness, this is so different. This is empowering. Like the bags are really empowering and powerful, you know? Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, I can even show, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it here for a second. Then I'll kind of show you, you can see it on the back wall here a little bit too, the proofs and everything that we've been dealing with. But um, again, right. I'm, I'm 33 years old. I grew up in the age of video games and it's been, you know, video games um, were a big part of my life for a long time. 
I haven't played video games in probably two years now because uh, I had to pull myself away from them. It was just like too much time stuck, you know. And but the games that I liked were these, you know, I've always had a, a passion since I was younger with uh, mythology. I've loved mythology my whole life, um, the stories that it brings. And then in the games that I fell in love with were just these crazy ones, like where you could pick your heroes and go out there and, and just it takes you away from kind of the reality. So when we started doing this and, and so we solidified, OK, we want to have this company that sells this amazing product that we put together that helps veterans. So what's the next stage of that? How, you know, what, I mean, this was literally an unlimited plat like platform for me to do whatever I wanted. And, th and that's why it kind of goes back to me just like, this was just a hodgepodge of so much of myself uh, and different elements coming together. And one of those was, well, for each one of our flavors, we want to have a champion that is part of this flavor that in some way is connected to the ingredients, right? Um, so it's not just meaningless right there. And and that soldiers and warriors, we, we I like just saying warriors across the board because you could be a warrior even if you're not a soldier, you know, fighters out there, people that, that uh, don't quit, they, they got the grit, they have the tenacity, they get knocked down, they get back up. Like who can we, who can champion, champion these types of people? And the first one that came to mind was uh, Wukong from a game that I was playing. And, uh, you know, he's this great warrior in, in uh, Chinese culture. Um, and he's the Monkey King. I mean, it's just, it's fascinating. What, what yeah, I got that one coming. What's that? <laughs> I got that one coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, and it's great. And that one, you know, it just happened to be um, a, our, our banana, a chocolate banana tea, yeah. uh, green tea that we have. And, um it was that was kind of the start of it right there and then so once we had that then we'd like love this idea because we we found artists then you know we, re, two really good artists all of a sudden that that uh have been able just to push out this amazing artwork and breathe life into this tea you know and for me it's like is you can't like here even here online right now right like there's no way for me to really tell you how good this tea is other than just with my words and you have to take that at face value for me, just like any anybody would have to take a company at face value for that type of stuff. So how can we say, hey, no, like like you said, what's eye catching? What's something that can really yeah. pull them in? And so we went down this road and then it became a challenge all of a sudden because we have 10 flavors of tea to sit there and be like, oh man, we have to come up with nine other heroes, if you will, um, for these flavors. And and that was challenging in and of itself, you know, writing out this list and everything. Um, and, and I'm really happy with kind of how things turned out and stuff. So here's a, here's the, the rough prints that we had gotten back. So they're actually all being printed right now. Um, there's the, yeah, I, I just love the characters. Like I, 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 it's eye grabbing, right? It's like, Oh my God, this is like really different kind of tea, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, it's we, really, really incredible. Like I'm just like, it's not like an everyday kind of tea that you just see like the name on it. You see character, you see the strength in it, you see the empowerment behind it. You see like when I look at the bags, I'm just like, I want to get them all. Like I'm just like, I don't even care if it's good tea or not. I'm just like, I want the bag. <laughs> we, I've actually heard that from like a couple different people. Like, oh, you could collect these, you know. And they're just like, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess that's the case maybe you know maybe one day this first round of characters will be like pokemon cards in the future you know i have no idea it'll be beanie babies the next beanie babies is our tea bags i, I don't know it, it, never it's know, fun right? though you know it's super enjoyable so um so we do have a message that came in from angela hawk and she's in the states i believe she's in alabama so I love supporting military businesses and especially when they are making a difference by giving back like this company does. I'm super impressed. Thank you for what you are doing. Well, thank you, Angela. I appreciate hearing that. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it, it's just been such a, an honor right now. I think to, to work in this specific world, especially being a, a veteran myself, you know, but thank you for the, the great introduction and stuff there. Um, but you know, I, I've been there, I've been in those guys shoes and, and those women's shoes and, it's so, it's not easy to to come out of that, you know, and so it's 
making this something that, that not only I can be proud of, but I think other people can be proud of and get behind is going to be the biggest thing for us as we, as we really start to grow here, you know, and, and we have grown. I mean, we, you know, like any other startup company, we opened up a Shopify store. I mean, that's the new thing. And uh, we're in the top uh, 1% of everyone that opened up that day right now. So business is oh, great, wow. you know, so it's, it's really nice. Um, but it's been a lot of a lot of hard work and stuff too. I mean, I'm still trying to learn TikTok right now. I have no idea. Oh, me too. <laughs> no idea just, to I'm just like, everybody's like, especially my kids are like, mom, you're not doing it right. I'm like, what? And my son has me on Twitch too. So I'm learning all of that too. I'm not like, I'm not a gamer I, at all. I haven't, you're farther than me then. Cause I haven't even touched Twitch. I have no, you know, that's, that's something. That's yeah. Far, so I'm just like, I'm, I'll try anything. Right. And, and, yeah. and then if it's not my cup of tea, I'm just like, Oh, but I tried it and it's just not for me. So. Yeah. No, it's uh, it, it's funny. I, when I, I did my first TikTok video, um, and I have a daughter, I have a 13 year old, amazing daughter. And she, you know, she'd same thing. Like you gotta, you gotta get on TikTok. You gotta get on TikTok. So I, I tried this TikTok video and, and just the, the interface alone for me, is just so confusing. I'm somebody that is, uh, I went to college for design. I'm very, I'm very versed with Adobe, you know, any Adobe program, Photoshop, Illustrator, any of that other stuff. And TikTok just was very confusing for me to figure out uh, what was going on there. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure that out, posted this video, and I got nothing from it, <laughs> you know, no traction whatsoever. And so I did that a couple of times and I was just, it was so frustrating. So I I put, uh, and so I have this, one of my, my steepers here, right? Oh, that's so gorgeous. I, yeah, I put this, that's pretty neat. You just put it right underneath the cup and the tea comes right out of the bottom. Oh, boom. I like that. Yeah. So um, I did a video of just the hot water going into this this uh, steeper, and that was it. I put music on it. I did that hot water, put it on TikTok, and it blew up. It was the best video I had. And I was just sitting there, like, blown away that I was like, <laughs> okay, so I guess it's just the simple stuff I need to put on there, and that's going to work. You know, I it's still not crazy good, but, you know, I – I, I am a, a one man show here right now. Currently. I mean, I have my business partner and I, I have another veteran that he's starting to become more and more. Um, I know everyone does need a teenager. hundred percent, hundred percent. I could just hire my daughter and be like, here you go. Here's your first right. job. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, where was I at with that? Uh, so, it, oh yeah, I, so I'm a one man show, um, but I'm starting to, as we're growing, we're bringing more help on board and stuff. And, and my idea would be to really, you know, we, we're a veteran owned company. I'd, I'd like to keep this culture building here um, and really be able to provide a lot of jobs and stuff for these people as, as we grow throughout the years and everything. Uh, and that's something, another thing I think I'd be really proud of to sit there and be like, you know, this is, this is something that just wasn't here before. And, and we're just out there helping these people, uh, people like me that, uh, you know, maybe just, just need that little push in the right direction. So. Yeah. So do you feel that uh, making these connections with these two partners that you mentioned, the, the farm and that, how, how did you find those two connections? Did they come to you or did you scope out and look for them or? Um, no. So I definitely, I went, I went to them. Um, DV farm, actually, uh, they DV six is the guy who runs it over there. A uh, really good guy. He started a Facebook page called dysfunctional veterans over 10 years ago, you know, oh. and his story is just, it, it's so motivating to hear his story as well. Cause he, he himself was a homeless vet at, you know, going through this time, starting this, uh, Facebook page and, and 10 years ago, Facebook was a lot different landscape than it is now. Right. Like it was the wild West back then. And he was one of the guys, uh, and dysfunctional veterans, the actual page was one of the first meme pages out there, you know, and he would just post these funny memes that were relatable to veterans specifically or military members. And it was huge. You know, uh, my friends and I, we all, I, I remember sitting in Afghanistan just laughing about some of this stuff as we were, you know, when we get the chance to see what these uh, memes were. And at the time, we didn't even know what memes had a name, that they were called memes, right? So we just, I liked it. It was great. They grew, they, they, they grew massive. I mean, they had millions and millions of followers. Um, 
and then this the whole crackdown that happened with Facebook and everything. Um, you know, veteran humor sometimes can be really dry. It could be very uh, seedy, if you will, a little dark. Yeah. You know, so they got in a lot of trouble with with Mark Zuckerberg's crew over there. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. So they they ended up. I think I, I don't remember the exact story. I just remember like as a user seeing like, oh, their Facebook page went down. You know. And then I had to rebuild out of it. And it's just been like a back and forth, like headache, I think, for them since then, because they're still getting, you know, they're they're getting their pages uh, blocked and everything right now for stuff that was posted nine years ago that, you know, they haven't. It's just crazy that uh, and they post a lot. I mean, you're talking probably 30 to 50 memes a day that oh, they would wow. have to scour through over a 10 year period, you know, and they're trying. They really are to, to, to make it a little bit more. Facebook approved, but so I knew that uh, through them they had the DV farm. Okay. And I, a good a good friend of mine who is no longer with us, I you know he he lost the battle uh, within and everything. And another big reason why I think I started this company here, uh, you know he loved dysfunctional veterans and the humor and stuff. Him, him and I would just go sending these memes back and forth, back and forth. And so when this, when I was sitting here thinking about who I wanted to partner with, I was like, why not give these people a call? You know, and I didn't know, I didn't know any of them personally. And I just reached out and, uh, you know, said, what's the worst that could happen? They could tell me no. You know, exactly. Right. And, uh, and they didn't, I, I actually got right in touch with, with, uh, DV six over there. And we had a really good first conversation. Um, a lot of what I think I, was saying about where, you know, I want our mission to be and everything was resonated really well with them. And uh, that kind of just blossomed from there at that point, which was really great because having them on board, um, you know, it's just, uh, it, it's been difficult to, if you can believe it, it's been difficult to find uh, companies out there, you know, and, and like I said, I reached out to a bunch, even even companies like uh, the Wounded Warrior Project and stuff for all the stuff that they're getting hammered on right now. Um, you'd be surprised how many of them tell, told me no, that, uh, th that they didn't want to partner because, um, or, or I had to, we had to commit to a $25,000 a year donation, you know, which one day I'd love to do. But, uh, as of right now, I mean, that's not something as a startup company, you, you can't just, oh, here's 25 grand donation. Let's partner up, you know? Um, but I would love to do that, you know, yeah. one day. So finding a, an organization like DV farm that was as large as they were, that was willing to say, you know what, like we, we like what you guys are doing. We want to, we want to be partners. You can put us on your packaging and everything. And uh, I mean, that was, that was a blessing, honestly, for us. And then just kind of carried, you know, to the best defense foundation was the next one that I found. And now I'm in talks with another one, uh, irreverent warriors. So they're an amazing company out there too, a nonprofit. Um, but the goals have four of them. So we're at two right now. So Angela may have a connection for you. Uh, I'm going to hook you up with Angela because she does have a lot of connections and she does amazing work, this woman as well. She's really good at uh, finding good, good, strong people that will make a difference. So I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll connect you with Angela for sure. And uh, and we will for sure uh, see where we can take this. And this is why I want to do Tea Time, right? It's like when I reach out. I get I get a lot of no's too, but it doesn't stop me because I know that it is making a difference one cup at a time, right? And if we don't ask, we don't know. And I and I really like the word tenacity because when I first got that word given to me years ago, I was like, what the heck is that word? I don't know what that word was. And then when I did your video and I was looking into it, I was like, okay, now I understand why that person said I had tenacity as well. And I was like, oh, okay, I got it. And, and that's why I like to make personal videos for all of my guests is because I get to know them a little bit more. And I like to personalize it and put in what you guys stand for and what you do and that. So I, yeah. got, to know, I got to know you a little bit more as I was making the video as well. And I was like, hmm, okay, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I really liked your backstory because, and this is why we have these tea times, is because there's always a backstory on why we do what we do. And when 
I reached out to you, it was like, oh my God, this guy has an amazing, cool tea company and I have never had a tea company on my tea time. What am I doing? I'm the tea lady and I don't even have tea. And I'm like, oh my goodness, yeah. So please say yes. And when you said yes, I was like, oh my God, yes, he said yes. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, you know. Cheers to that. That's, that's, yeah. Uh, and like I yeah. said, I can't wait for my tea to come in. And I did get the monkey one. And I, I got the berry one, I believe. And what so that's what, yeah, the Uncle Sam is what I'm drinking right now. It's our pearl berry white tea. Yes, uh, that's the other one I got. Yeah, very, I really like uh, the package. I get a lot of notes of blueberry out of it. And uh it's it's very fruity. This this is actually my favorite tea to make cold. Oh so cold brew it. Yeah. So that's uh if, if that's something, I mean, you have enough there. Just definitely, if you want to do a cup of cold brew and try it out, it's it's really good. It's my summertime tea, you know. I think, and uh, that's probably another reason why we decided to all the ingredients. You know, it's got strawberries in it, as uh, the the blueberries and. Well, the blueberries got me. As soon as I seen blueberries, I was like, oh, well, I gotta get this one because I'm a blueberry girl. So yeah, I'm a nor I'm a northern girl. So where I live now, I'm not. I, that's not where I'm originally from. So. I like picking blueberries. Like we used to go blueberry picking. I'm like the play in the mud kind of girl. Everybody looks at me and they're like, oh, you used to play in the mud? Uh, I still play in the mud. I had a mud fight with my daughter and the cops stopped us because we had this big mud Great fight. Cop, cop. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, is there an issue? And I was like, oh, I just kicked her butt. I said in the mud fight, like my I lost a shoe in that fight. And I was like, hey, it, you got to have fun, right? So, right, right. But they, they were like, fun curious on why we were both covered in mud like we were like at this trail park like you should be walking your dog kind of and two people are walking out here full of mud they're like what the heck <laughs> well i i think uh, uncle sam will be great for post mud fight it'll be a good good tea for that oh awesome yeah and i'll yeah. try it cold because i love cold tea so my i hardly ever drink a hot tea everybody's like do you drink hot tea huh? by the time i drink my tea it's cold so just kind of let us sit there i've learned i mean just Honestly, I've just learned so much since I started getting into the tea world and everything um, over the last few years. And it's just been, uh, it's been a real wonder, I think, especially to get to this point with, uh, you know, simple things like people not, you know, one of the best things is a lot of people don't realize that you can burn tea, you know. Oh. And so that's, uh, yeah. So if it's, uh, in all our packaging, it has like the instructions specifically, like how to make it and everything. And it's, uh certain temperatures so green teas and white teas and black teas all have different temperatures that they usually go by and especially ours because we have premium blends so it's it's not just tea in it there's you know so, some of them have salt uh, or have chunks of uh, sea salt and and caramel in it and stuff and you know so it's certain ways you have to blend it and everything but uh if you steep it usually for more than about five minutes then uh you run the risk of burning the flavor in it which is i had no idea you know so it's uh so it's one thing i always make sure i do now is not to burn it and a lot of people you know advice for drinking tea um if you if your tea is not strong enough it won't get stronger by letting it sit there it'll get only stronger by you putting more tea in the steeper so that's just a little oh tidbit. i didn't know that at all yeah it's not, it's not like coffee on you know, well not yeah. un, not not unfortunately. I'm, I feel like I'm going to war against the coffee. <laughs> right so, you know, it's, uh, we're trying to be you know healthier and everything to lower people's blood pressure. So it'd be be nice, but uh, yeah, you know that's just a fun fact I learned through this whole process, and it was like, oh, I had no idea that you could burn tea. You know, and I don't think a lot of people really do. My whole life, I thought just like i think everyone thinks that if i oh if i leave the tea in there it's going to be stronger flavor and that's not the case so, so oh yeah well that's good to know because i'm always like how can that tea's not strong enough like just let it sit another few minutes liz yeah no i just got to put a little bit more a little bit more tea in there so a little bit more I, tea. I like my tea strong too you know coming from just being a, an american and and the, the the coffee is so ingrained into our culture you know yeah that it's, uh, I've had to, I usually put about like a tablespoon and a half of, of tea into my cup, you know? So it's, uh, I need a real yeah. strong. A lot of people have given me different recipes for tea, like tea and coffee, tea and chocolate milk, and tea and butter. Tea and butter is really good. Like I, I really recommend you try tea and butter. A black tea with butter, oh, it is like silk. It is like a, a nice coffee. 
<laughs> but it's tea. I'll, I'll definitely have to try that. I, yeah. uh, one of my favorites that we so so Black Caesar is one of my favorite teas that we have, and that's the salted caramel one. And uh, I love putting just heavy cream, like a tablespoon of heavy cream in it, and it just I swear it turns into uh, something that you think you would have just got at Starbucks, you know, walking out the door. And it's just like, it's delicious. And it's our, I call it our gateway tea. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, it's for people that really love coffee and maybe they've never liked tea, you know, their whole lives. Um, it's one thing you don't hear about. You've never heard about like, I, I at least I haven't really ever seen like salted tea. That, that's a uh, complete opposite of what I would think. A lot of people like sugar in their tea, right? Yeah. And so this one's built with salt in it. And so it's a much more save, savory taste. Um, than you would expect. And people that normally like coffee seem to really gravitate towards this tea and then, you know, get them hooked on that. And then boom, now you got this oh, whole new world of tea opened up that that they can start looking into all our other flavors and everything that we have. So. So before I forget, I do have the website. So I'm going to bring the web website up a bit so people can see the packaging a little bit better. And and then maybe you can share a little bit on each of the packaging. So let me just grab that for you. That and I, uh, so we do have a, a code for you. So anyone that wants to purchase, uh, they want to use uh, Miss Liz uh, as a code when they check out, then they'll get a 20% off their first order. Oh, wow. Well, thank yeah. you for doing that. that that's, that's, well, that's my that's thank awesome. you to, to your listeners and everything. Oh, well, thank you. I, I, I don't know how many is watching because I'm streaming so many different places now. My son's got me on so many different things. He's like, Mom, just multi-stream. You're going to reach different areas and different kinds of people. And, and I'm like, okay, let's just give it a try. So before it was just the one platform I was using. And that, so but I, I'm willing to try. Like I said, I'll give it a try. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I, I see the different different people watching and the different age groups watching now. So it might make a difference. So I did bring up your website. So I'm just going to scroll down to some of the tea bags, the tea packaging. There we go. That you had mentioned. Yep. These are our, our heroes here, if you will. So I did get the uncle Sam. I did get the monkey one. Um, and I can't remember what the third one was. Oh my uh, I think you got the, did you get the chai? Was yes. The chai? Yes. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Was, Cause I love my chai tea. It was Vishnu right there. That's our champion for chai. Oh, okay. I'll say, uh, Angela can't see the website. So I will send Angela the website and I will connect the two use together because I think that you two could make a difference. Um, so a little bit on your tea and that, so what I like to do is I like to bring the websites into each tea time is because it gives people a chance to see the website and to see where they can go and all of that. So yep, it's a www.valhallatea.com. So if anybody would like to check out his tea time, be sure to check it out and be sure to support because it does make a difference. He does donate a dollar from each bag. So, and like I said, I'm just, I'm already buying because of the packaging. So I, 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 I'll good. enjoy the tea, but I, it's the packaging that really got me. Like that was what sold me. I was like, Oh my goodness. Those packaging. Well, my, my print company just got back to me this morning. And so they said June 22nd is when we'll be getting shipped. The, uh, the actual, those, those actual, these ones that I have here, but in, in their Mylar bag form. So at this, uh, because, so when we started this company, we started it as pocket watch is what we called it. Okay. Um, and Pocket Watch was here. It the Pocket Watch label was uh, just something to get into the store and everything. So this is what it, it looks like right now. Oh. Um, yeah, totally different, right? Totally. Yeah, different. totally. So it was like, oh, <laughs> it was like it, all yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. So it was something though. Um, when that was before I had free reign to do whatever I wanted. And so when I, once I got the free reign, I was like, we're getting rid of this, like, and we're going to transition into these, you know? Yeah. And uh, for any of you that are out there that own a business or starting up a company, um, printing packaging is one of the biggest headaches on the planet to get to the actual point of everything's good to go. 
Yeah. And it's, it's, it's just very stressful because you're going back and forth with another company, you know, on design on what, uh, some, if you can have these great designs, we have these great custom art pieces done and the print company would send you die line cuts is what they're called. And those are files that show the actual outline of the packaging. Where is everything going to be placed in here? Um, where, where does, what's going to be cut off, you know, and then it has to have all its corresponding color codes, you know, CMYK. Um, and so it's just been a, it's been a two month process, uh, which I'm, I'm happy about a little bit because two months ago we didn't have eight packages done. Um, and now we're finishing up, you know, we only have one more left, which is our Loki. And that will be done here hopefully within this week. And then our first 10 flavors are done and it's great. Um, but we're, we're pretty excited to get this, this new packaging in uh, June 22nd. So when it does come in, I will, uh, I will send you <laughs> the new packaging so you can have it. You could, you could put your tea in that then and just, you know. So are you just selling the tea or are you selling that mug, like the mug that you showed me? Uh, no, what, right now we're just selling tea. So I actually okay. have, uh, we're in the process of coming up with the different, different mugs and everything. It okay. will be something like this though. I mean, this is, I, oh, I, like I, I personally enjoy this quite a bit. It has a nice wooden handle on it. I like that. It's different. Yeah. And I'm all about uh, being different. So I, I love it. Well, you know, a lot of it, like, I just, I don't want to, we're the warrior culture, right? That's what yeah. we're building into our tea. So it's not thinking about like a standard teapot and stuff like that. That's not something yeah, it's that not I like want a stand, to. standard teacup like I got, right? We're, yeah. We're trying to not, <laughs> we're trying to, to, not that we have anything against that. We just, uh, you know, we're the opposite. We want something yeah. that's, that's, you know, real materials and, and, and very Viking-esque, if you will, you know, kind of like really pulling in that warrior mentality and spirit into it. Um, you know, Valhalla is, uh, is the, uh, warrior afterlife for the Nordic culture and everything. Um, and it's a, it's a saying, I, I'm actually not even, uh, uh, not yet. We do not off, offer monthly subscriptions, but those are coming. Um, they are coming. We are working on those. Um, so those will be actually the next thing. Uh, well, the, that's two things away from right now. So the next thing after this packaging is done, I am putting together a sample box. So it'll have okay. all 10 of our flavors and tea bags that people can just buy so they can try out all of them before they make a, a commitment to purchase, you know, one of the bigger loose leaf tea bags. Uh, and then once I have that down, then we will be doing subscription boxes um, with a mystery tea flavor every, every quarter that we throw in there. Um, Cause we have the ability, our, I, our mixologist, our tea mixologist is just a genius at what he does. And, and when you taste this tea, you're going to just be like, wow, like this is, this is amazing, you know, and, and the flavors are just so unique, uh, especially the monkey King, like the one that, uh, that you got there. It's got real, I just like monkeys, massive chunks of banana in it. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just, I haven't never seen a tea like that before. And I was just like, well, that's it. You know, that's a, uh, Again, American, right? We like things yep. big, you know. So it's just like we want I want real chunks of banana in this thing. And and it's got, you know, uh, the chocolate yeah, no, in there. It was the monkey that sold me on that bag. I was like, oh, I just want the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll make sure I get you the packaging in when it comes in this month. I promise. I promise. That was... I'm that weird girl. Like everybody thinks, oh my goodness, Miss Liz. And oh no, I'm I'm a weirdo. I I'm I'm not scared to admit it. Like I am who I am and it was the monkey that got me for that one. Like, well, that's good. I mean, that's, that was my, you know, I, I love hearing everybody has a, a different favorite one. Yeah. You know, and that, that is one, I think that is mission accomplished for us right there is that if there is not a single one of those that really stands out as being the best. Yeah. And there's not a single one that stands out as being the worst. It's just so diversified. Uh, I think we did our job at that point because we as a human species are a diverse species, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just, that is something that uh, everyone's different. And I think it's celebrating too, that those differences right there. But in the end, it's just that the warrior spirit, right? That carries across to all these different cultures. And that's something that we really wanted to, to do with that. So I love hearing every time like, oh, this one's my favorite or this one's my favorite, you know? 
Yeah, uh, I really want to try the lavender one. After I seen that yesterday, I was like, oh my goodness, I wish I had seen that before the order. But I'm going to make another order. Once these ones come in, once I get my monkey, then I'm good. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, the lavender is amazing. So a lot, all of our tea was also designed specifically to help with uh, mental health issues, you know. Okay. Um, actually, I'm about to upload a video here on our own Facebook page and everything, but it's, uh, you know, I myself am diagnosed with PTSD, uh, panic disorder and anxiety, um, not severely by any means, but I mean, the panic disorder, man, gets me all the time. It just, it, uh, you know, it's random. It happens at the worst times and it's just not something they have a cure for or anything. You know, it's a, it's a real pain in the, the butt <laughs> for me. Yeah. Um, so a lot of these flavors, like the Goddess of War, the lavender tea that we have, they are designed to help soothe anxiety and and things related to post traumatic stress disorder or uh, you know panic attacks. You know, it's the things to help with high blood pressure. Um, our our All Father is our herbal blend tea uh, that actually has no tea in it. It's just uh, it's a special blend of chemicals that you can make tea into, and uh, not chemicals. Sorry, um, or was it? Uh, Ingredients. There you go. Oh, I'm having a brain fart here. Um, it's yeah, it's a special blend of ingredients that it's got like licorice root and stuff in there. But I mean, it is uh, it's the one that, you know, when we were doing this research and stuff, Vikings drank tea, but they didn't drink uh, typical tea that we find now. So we wanted to create one that a Viking could have made, you know, and so that was the all father. And it is just such a great tea to sit there and relax at the end of the a long day, you know, just kind of clear your mind and everything. Um, Goddess of War is another one. Our Lord, uh, Lord of the Desert is our peppermint tea. Peppermint's really good uh, to help with anxiety and everything, just the aromas of it and stuff. So that was uh, just another component, right, in this hodgepodge uh, that we ended up putting together with Valhalla Tea Company. And it's just, you know, it, it's great. At the end of the day, I think we're going to be doing a lot of good out there. I think you will, too. And I, I live with mental health, and and so you doing something for mental health really means a lot to me because we need awareness and we need to be bringing different things and breaking that stigma, right? That uh, we all go through shit in life and things happen, and tea can help. And yeah, it, it really can. It you know, helped surprisingly, me. It, it can help. Helped you, and it helped many out there. You know, so that's my goal is to make a difference one cup of tea at a time, you know, and I can't wait for my monkey tea to come. And then I'll say, Oh yeah, I got my monkey. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So, so is there anything that you would like to mention before we close up your tea time, Chris? Um, I guess just our, you know, our plug, please follow us online at, uh, at Valhalla tea company uh, across, you know, Facebook or YouTube or, um, Instagram, you know, you can see a lot of our amazing artwork and stuff out there. Um, Yes, that one would be us right there. So it'd be, uh, you know, just great stuff. Uh, if you want to see what we're doing, we, we last week we started a live Facebook show ourselves. Um, you know, we have guest speakers on and, and basically the whole premise is we have two veterans and a civilian sitting there just discussing um, anything from our tea. We do tea, tea taste testing on there too. You know, are aliens real? I mean, we're just all over the place talking about stuff, you know, but like it's all that. over. Yeah, so it's uh, you know a good thing. Uh, maybe we'll have you on there one day, you know, if you if you want to. So it'd be, <laughs> once I get my monkey, <laughs> once you get your monkey, right, right. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think uh, just you know help us get the word out there that the you know what we're building and in, in this great cause and everything and our that cost the, the what we donate to these organizations is not built into the price. It's actually built into our our own profit margins. So. You know, that's not something we're not passing that on to our customers or anything, uh, and nor do we think we should. It's just this is kind of a part of us and, and what we want to do, you know, and, and so we're pretty, pretty happy and excited for the next few months to see what we uh, what we end up building here, I think, especially as we go into the next year in the holiday season and, and just really take this thing and run with it. So if somebody wanted to make a donation to the two companies that are partnering with you, can they? Uh, yes, they, they can make direct donations. So underneath our, our uh, partner page that we have on there, okay. um, there's no buttons for it. It's just in, a, it's in the bottom of their descriptions. It says if you'd like to donate directly, uh, just goes you know specifically here 
to be honest with you, they both do the same process. So it would just be dvfarm.org forward slash donate or uh, the, I think it's bdf.org forward slash donate. Um, and if they want to donate that way, you know, by all means, please do. These organizations are doing so much out there. You know, we're just the, we're the funders. Like that's, that's really what I'm doing. That's my benefit is, is funding these ones. Uh, and they need, you know, they're, they're, they're nonprofits. So they're, they're out there partnering with companies like mine, uh, trying to figure out how they, they can pay for all of this amazing stuff that they're doing for our veteran communities out there. Um, so if tea's not your thing, uh, please go directly to their websites and, and donate there because they are two really great organizations that we stand behind. And, uh, you know, I, I, I have done my due diligence on vetting them and they're, they're, they are pretty high quality organizations as it relates to veteran reintegration. Awesome. So if anybody would like to follow you, they can follow you on Instagram, Facebook. Do you have a YouTube channel? We do have a YouTube channel. Yep. And a YouTube channel. Yep. And check out the website because these bags are incredible. I'm telling you, get yourself a monkey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get your, you're going to like it. I'll be, I'm so interested now to see what, uh, what your thoughts are on it. So it'll be good. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, could you please just be in for our tea time? But I guess with everything well, going like on, I said, right? on, on our show, we, we do a taste testing. So maybe we'll hold off on the monkey King until you get yours. And then we can collectively all do a nice taste testing of the monkey King. There we go. And I love my, my bananas too. So I'm sure I'm going to love it. Like when I looked at it, I was like, Oh, these are big bananas in there. So yeah, that one's good with sugar and cream as well. So just, uh, Oh, uh, okay. yeah, a good one right there. Cool. But, all right. Well, thank you for having me on your show. It's been wonderful. Well, I, thank you so have. much. I really, really am honored to have you. And like I said, you're my feet, my first tea company on tea time, making a difference. So I'm going to be getting more tea, tea companies out there. I'm going to be knocking on doors, but I am honored that you were my first, first one, Chris. And I am Really, really grateful for all the stuff that you're doing for the veterans out there. So if anybody would like to make a difference, just grab a bag of tea. Even if you don't like it, you'll like the package. Like, give it a try. It's worth it. So, again, I want to thank you, Chris. And I want to thank all the viewers out there who are watching. And if you are watching on the replay, share the tea times. This tea time will be uploaded to YouTube, my YouTube channel. And you can share it with anyone out there. So if you would like to share Chris's story or share the company, get involved with him, connect with him, you are more than welcome to. My tea times are all available and they are all public for awareness purpose only. So I am not making any money off of this. I am doing this for awareness only. So again, thank you all. And thank you, Chris, for joining me today for tea time. And I will see you next week with two new guests. So next week we will have a tea guest speaking on bullying and we will have a tea guest that will be speaking on child pornography. And I can't wait to have those two guests on because I think those are two top topics that need to be shared as well. So again, Chris, thank you for everything that you're doing and thank you for creating these amazing teas because you grabbed me. So I'm sure you'll grab many out there. So thank I'll you, see Liz. You're very welcome. And I will see you all next week with a new tea time. And we will make a difference one cup of tea at a time. Thank you so much.